Sorry, that is actually rioting. That's not protesting. What you're doing is actually quite volatile. I will say this to you all now, and you can film me, and this is as a professor. I totally understand you as your young people, okay, worried about your future and Hong Kong, you know, being taken over by mainland China, okay? It was inevitable, years ago it was going to happen. I totally, totally understand it. I understand the unrest. I really do. Democracy in China is an illusion. Democracy is an illusion. I'm sorry. No matter how you protest and what you do, and it's great, yes, you're part of a revolution. Amazing. But it's a concept that no one in mainland China will actually accept and will understand. And you can try, you can protest and protest and protest as long as you want for as week after week. We're on week 17 now, correct? Week 17, correct? Yes. What you're protesting against is against the Hong Kong government as well. Against Carrie Lam, yes? Carrie Lam, yeah, Hong Kong government, but basically China, elected by the Chinese government, by Beijing. She's China. What you need to understand is, yes, you're revolution, brilliant, you're young people, you're revolting, you want change. Start being a lot more intelligent about it. You're at a university studying to make change. Start being yobs, stop beating people up, stop actually defecating and vandalising places and setting things on fire. That is not intelligent, it's stupid. It's retarded. I'm sorry. But at least we try. All right, you try. How else can you try? Use your brain. We use our How, brain. Use your brain. Okay, so who's into who's into computer science? Who's seen Mr. Robot? Who's seen Mr. Robot on Amazon? Anybody? Cyber attack? I mean, are we intelligent enough? Start <laughs> using technology? Start revolting where we're not going to buy, you know, mainland China products? that are shipped over here, whatever. Being violent and being yobbish, it is really counterproductive. And I tell you what, it's exactly what China wants. Because what will happen? What happened over there? No more Facebook. Because what? You're using these as social platforms to communicate to one another, to start these mini revolutions and these protests that you're doing. Yeah? No, 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 but it's all social media. It's all social media. All that will be taken away from you. It will all be taken away from you. Right? It will all be taken away from you. So guys, start being more intelligent. What you're doing is not the answer. It really isn't. It is not the answer. It's not sustainable. Think of it as an ecosystem. What you are doing and the culture that, and the attitude that you're cultivating and creating here is ridiculous. This university should be a safe haven for anybody and everybody. What you have just done now is affected all your peers, all your staff from coming and having their moment to actually enjoy their meal in peace. Yeah? If you want to protest, whatever, take it to the streets. Don't be involving people who are just going by their day, okay? Yeah, I can relate to your reasons. But the way you're actually dealing with it is actually ridiculous. It's in a young, yobbish way. And I just feel that you all need to be a bit more intelligent, a bit more dynamic in how you actually revolt and how you express your voice. Because I tell you what, what you're doing now is just frowned upon. It's disruptive in the wrong way. You can all be 
a lot more intelligent about it. Graffitiing the walls, stopping people from having a thing. I mean, it's just a joke now. So start using your brains. Start creating a proper revolution. Done. And just everybody stay at home and wish for freedom, okay? Any better solution? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, okay. Okay. Who made a freedom for the people of the This is your revolution. Nothing you use at all. This is your revolution. This is your revolution. Sit down and have a conversation about your revolution then. Sit down and have a conversation. Sit down and have a conversation about your revolution. Think about it. Because I tell you what, you're in the moment now. But all of what you're doing and all what's happening on the weekends, literally, in the years to come, is going against you. It happened in mainland China, it's going to happen here. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you all now. I'm telling you all now.外外籍的教授是來到這個理工大學的學生飯堂是想買食物的但是看到有多位的理大生在攤攤面前他隨即提及到了解學生的行動和也了解學生優劣自己的前途但覺得學生這樣做是不理智也認為在學生飯堂的門外噴漆